if you were hurt in a car accident, the insurance company probably already has its people working behind the scenes to limit your recovery. Every day, all across Louisiana, insurance adjusters scheme to minimize the legal claims of injured people just like you. They hurt your case a number of ways. First, they ask you to sign forms that could doom your case. Next, they get your confidential medical records and they use your own records against you. Finally, they ask you to give a recorded statement, a statement that could hurt your case, and they ask you to give that statement without the presence of a lawyer who would protect your rights. Remember, no matter how nice they are, insurance adjusters serve the interest of the insurance company, not you. Allstate, State Farm, GEICO, and the other giant insurance companies probably know more about your legal rights than you do. They do this every day. They have thousands of lawyers on call. They know exactly what they owe you under the law, and they know the tricks on how to get around paying you what they owe. Facing a giant insurance company is a David and Goliath situation. Making matters worse, time is not on your side. Hi, my name is Parker Larison. That's me in the photograph on the right with my wife, Brandy. As you can see from the information on the left, I'm an attorney who's been in practice since 2002. This is our law firm's team. Beginning on the left is our paralegal, Joe. He's followed by our law clerk, Megan. That's me in the middle, followed by our communications coordinator, Ashley. Finally is our legal assistant, Angela. Our team is dedicated to helping auto accident personal injury victims just like you. Our goal is to minimize your stress and maximize your financial recovery. We do this by leveling the playing field between giant insurance companies like State Farm, Allstate, and GEICO, and regular people just like you. In addition to the professional experience that comes with handling personal injury claims for over a decade, our team has personally been through the process. For example, Every person on our team has been involved in a car accident. In fact, Megan, Ashley, and Angela were involved in major car accidents that resulted in severe injuries and personal injury litigation. As a result, handling car accident claims is not just our job, it's our passion. As you can see from this chart, personal injury is our number one focus by far. Helping personal injury victims is what we do. Whether it's as simple as providing a free resource such as our accident handbook or as extensive as handling your case, if you've been hurt in an auto accident, we're here to help you. Well, that's enough about us. Let's turn our attention to you and your case, beginning with the critical question, do you have a good case? To find out, we're going to take a look at the three keys to success in every personal injury case. The foundation of any personal injury case is three essential elements. These three keys to success are number one, fault for the accident. Number two, available insurance coverage. And number three, Injuries caused by the accident. To succeed in your case or any personal injury case, these three factors must be proven to the judge or jury. The three keys to success in your personal injury case are a lot like the three legs of a stool or a tripod. For example, take a look at the photograph of this wooden stool. It needs all three legs to stand. If any one leg goes out, the whole stool falls over. Likewise, if you're missing any of the three essential elements of fault, insurance, or injuries, you probably cannot prevail in your case. First is fault. When we say fault, we basically mean what lawyers call legal liability. 
It means who is responsible for the damages caused by this accident. Usually, the best place to start when determining fault is the police report. It's not the final word on who's at fault or who's responsible. Only the judge or jury can determine that. But the police report is a great source of information about the case, and it's a wonderful place to figure out who is most probably at fault for the accident. Another place to look is witnesses, and often you will find that the witnesses to the accident are listed in the police report. Once you determine who is at fault for the accident, the next key to success is to determine whether there is insurance coverage available to pay for your damages. Usually, insurance funds are the only money available to pay for your damages, medical bills, and pain and suffering. I'm sure you're familiar with the old saying that you can't bleed a turnip. Well, it's true. If someone does not have any money, it doesn't matter whether they're at fault. It won't help us pay our bills. The final key to success is proving that the accident caused legitimate injuries. To do that, the following essentials are required. First, your injuries must be diagnosed by a doctor. Now, this means you can go to your family doctor, a walk-in clinic, the emergency room, a chiropractor, a pain specialist. Really, any licensed physician or doctor can do it. But your pain, your suffering, your symptoms, your injuries, they must be diagnosed by a doctor. That's the only way that we can prevail in your case. If you stay home and you avoid the doctor, no matter how badly you're hurting, we won't be able to prevail. That means we won't be able to win your case. We won't be able to get you paid. The next requirement is that the doctor must form the opinion that your injuries or symptoms were either caused by the accident or at the very least aggravated by the accident if you had a pre-existing condition. To help with this, it's important for you to tell the doctor how you were feeling before the accident and how you were feeling after the accident. For example, if you were feeling fine before the accident, but you started having neck pain or back pain afterwards, it's important to tell the doctor that as soon as you see the doctor. On the other hand, perhaps you had a previous injury and you had back pain before the accident, but it was only at, say, a 4 out of 10 level, and then the accident made that pre-existing injury worse and your back pain shot up from 4 to 8 out of 10 on the pain scale. Well, it's important to tell your doctor that because the bottom line is we cannot get you paid for injuries that a doctor says were caused by something else or that were not aggravated by your accident. Another essential for you to consider when it comes to proving your injuries is that you should treat promptly and regularly with the doctor. So there you have it, the three keys to success in any personal injury case. If we can prove fault, insurance, and injuries in your case, then you probably have a good case. Now that we've explored the issue of whether you have a good case, we turn our attention to the next big question. What can an experienced personal injury attorney do for you? As you probably recall, in the video at the beginning of this presentation, I mentioned that a personal injury case is a modern-day David and Goliath situation. Like Goliath, Allstate, State Farm, and the other giant insurance companies have far more experience and resources than you could ever imagine. The claims process is not a fair fight. They do this every day. They often know more about your own case than you do, and they know the tricks that will allow them to cheat you out of what they owe you if you let them. Like David, when he faced Goliath, you need a great plan and the right tools if you expect to compete. The best way to accomplish that is to employ an experienced personal injury attorney. We can help you maximize your financial recovery. We can pay your medical bills if you're unable. We can handle the hassle of the insurance claims process and the medical billing process so that you don't have to. 
We will level the playing fields with the giant insurance companies that you face, and we will protect your interests at every turn. Studies show that accident victims who hire attorneys receive higher insurance payouts than people who don't hire attorneys. One study showed that the average insurance payout to an accident victim who hired an attorney was 3.7 times higher than those who don't hire lawyers. Another study showed that there was a higher rate for reimbursement of economic losses for clients that hired a lawyer than for those without. It also showed that most people were satisfied with their award and an overwhelming amount of people were satisfied with the performance of their attorney in personal injury situations. We have arrived at the final major question that we will address. The question is, how much does it cost to hire an experienced personal injury attorney? In most legal cases, clients pay their lawyers using a method called an hourly rate fee. However, if you have a good personal injury case, that's a special case that comes with a special billing method that we call the contingency fee. The hourly rate fee is not the method that will apply to your case. That's the arrangement where clients pay their lawyers an hourly rate, which in Louisiana is typically somewhere between $150 per hour and $450 per hour. And they usually have to pay something up front, often thousands of dollars, and they're billed monthly. And that method is essentially a time is money plan that requires the client to pay a lot up front. Don't worry, that is not how your case is going to work. We are not going to charge you an hourly rate fee. Instead of the hourly rate, we use a much better method called a contingency fee. This is essentially a no-win, no-fee agreement, which means that if we don't recover money for you, then you don't pay us an attorney fee or any costs. There's no payment up front, and there's no out-of-pocket payment. All of your attorney's fees and expenses will be paid out of the settlement or judgment or any money that we recover for you, and they won't be paid until we recover that money for you. What's great about this arrangement is that it's results-driven. It motivates your attorneys to get the best result possible. We want to make as much money as possible for you, as quickly as possible for you, because we don't get paid until you do. The amount we get paid is a fixed percentage of the overall recovery. And like most lawyers who practice personal injury law, that percentage is between 33 and 40%. The details of our contingency fee arrangement will be provided to you in a written fee agreement. So take your time, as much time as you need, to read and review that agreement. We'll answer any questions you have about it, and we'll give you time to talk it over with any friends or family members that you require. It is both impossible and illegal for attorneys to guarantee the results of any case. Therefore, we cannot and do not guarantee the outcome of your case. We simply promise you that we will do our best and work hard on your behalf. Many of our clients ask us how likely is it that their case will go to trial. The answer is, although it's impossible to predict which cases will go to trial and which will settle before trial, it's very unlikely that your case will go to trial. In my experience, approximately 98% of cases settle before trial. As this presentation comes to a close, I want to very clearly tell you what you can expect if you hire our firm. We will answer all your questions and guide you throughout this difficult personal injury process. We'll collect and organize the information and documents that we need to build your case. We'll force the insurance companies to play by the rules and to treat you fairly. And we will help you get the money that you need to recover and move forward.